Lying beneath the Sakerbor Shrine Hills, just outside Johannesburg, is Heidelberg. Once very briefly the seat of government in South Africa, it's a town full of colonial design and Boer War history. Today the town is once again host to hundreds of riders, yet this time they are cyclists, preparing to ride the first Joburg to Sea mountain bike race. Amongst them are two whose mission it is to deliver a precious cargo. A nine-day event covering over 900 kilometers, it's a journey that would include some of the toughest and most scenic terrain in the country. The precious cargo contains seeds of the valuable yellowwood tree, a South African treasure. Harvested by members of the Wildlands Conservation Trust working on the Indigenous Trees for Life program, now it's up to the partnership of Nadine and Dion Klopper to get them to their destination. But what do the seeds have to do with this story? Started in 1990, the Wildlands Conservation Trust is an NGO with the development of entrepreneurs or treepreneurs as one of its aims. With the objective of greening South Africa's landscape, the Trust gives seeds of various indigenous trees to children from mostly underprivileged areas who are then encouraged to care for them in their own backyards. I put the trees up here so that they can get more sun and get av avoided to rats. This is my favorite tree, Ocasia. It grows easily and it can protect itself and I like it. Today there are over 2,500 of these tree pruners around the country. They grow around 300,000 trees per annum. The idea is that once the trees reach a certain height, the children can then return them to the Wildens Trust. In effect, trading them for food, school uniforms, school fees, or even a Quebec bicycle designed for rural conditions. We're taking these bicycles to another community at the moment, but we thought it would be nice to come and stop over and show you guys so that you can get excited and be motivated and grow a lot more trees. Some of the trees bought back by the Trust are then planted into the communities, like these at the Archia Fisser School in Heidelberg. Together with rural forest restoration schemes, it is developed into a significant carbon sink project. Inextricably linked to awareness of environmental issues amongst today's children is the issue of education. And this is where Intel is playing a role, donating computer systems to school. That's what these are called, Intel Powered Classmate PCs. So now you can see that you're all connected to your teacher's uh, laptop, which means that uh, you can work as a team uh, together. You'll be able to link to each other and work in groups or by yourselves. So this is where the Intel 101 learning series comes true. It becomes a reality for us because it's going to teach you all what we call 21st century skills. Things such as critical conversations, collaboration, communication. So you can use this device to help you be a lot more successful, not just in school, but even later on in life. And you know, the knock-on effect is it helps our country become more competitive as a nation as well. It is this competitive spirit and determination, linked with a genuine concern for education in areas that need it most, that is the driving force behind our cyclists and their mission. So, carrying seats all the way down to the south coast, I believe. Well done, it's the Quebecer project team. With the halfway mark achieved, the riders had enormous appetites. They were ready for a lunch of marathon proportions. For the riders, such hunger isn't an everyday thing. Most rural school children work up huge appetites just in walking the large distances to school each day, which makes this idea of linking care for the environment to education so positive. The child who grows the tree to trade for a bicycle is less tired, less hungry. In other words, a better learner with more time to study, and therefore an improved chance of fulfilling his potential. This is what Intel does, it helps. In this case, providing yet another rural classroom with yet more computers and the opportunity to engage, 
providing children with a vital link to knowledge-based society. Back on the last stage of the race, Dion relieves Nadine of her load. He's on a Quebec bike, thousands of which have been earned by entrepreneurs thus far. The seeds are in his saddlebag, and the ocean at Scottborough is just around the corner. It's been a long ride, and while there's been much sweat, everyone's had fun. After 830 kilometers, no one cares quite how they arrive, except Dion, who takes the more cautious approach. Almost there, almost there. Thanks to Nadine and Dion, the seeds have arrived unscathed. They've been handed over to a local Scottborough community, where they'll be planted and new treepreneurs created. Future innovators and students of the future, equipped with 21st century skills, ready to thrive in tomorrow's workforce.